flag at Rahul Gandhi's Vainad show in 2024. Stark difference from the ground reality in 2019. Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan takes a jibe at the Congress. Muslim League in the vote to burn up. Padaga Badilla. Ide Purderam Hirutil. Smriti Rani in Vainad launches a frontal attack on Rahul Gandhi. She defeated in Amethi in 2019. Why such hunger for power that you will take support from banned PFI leaders as well? Congress jumps to Rahul Gandhi's defense. Muslim League workers participated in the, um, 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 the, the roadshow. That how he can decide whether we should uh, take flag or not. Congress faces heat over IUML and SDPI in Vainad. That's our top focus on India First. So Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party are in the line of fire, both of the left and the right in Vainar. Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan, he's unrelenting in his attacks. As is Smriti Rani, who went all the way to Vainar to campaign for K. Surindran, BJP candidate against Rahul Gandhi in Kerala. Now, it's not just the CPI candidate Annie Raja, but the left asking their India Alliance partner Rahul Gandhi why not Amethi? Why Vainad? If you are serious, if you are taking help of the Muslim League, then why shy away from their flags? We discussed this. I am Gaurav Savant as always. Let's get started with the headlines on India First. Big jolt to the Congress party, three exits in 24 hours with party spokesperson Gaurav Vallabh, the latest to join the Bharatiya Janta Party. In Maharashtra, expelled Congress leader Sanjay Nirupam insists he quit amidst a rift over the Mumbai Northwest seat. Big nomination day ahead of Lok Sabha elections, Rajiv Chandrasekhar files his nomination from Thiruvananthapuram, Hema Malni from Mathura, KC Venugopal files to contest elections from Alapura. Papu Yadav to fight as an independent from Purnia in Bihar. Battleground Bengal heats up. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee face off in Pooch Bihar. The Prime Minister reiterates corruption crackdown says Bhrashtachar Muk Bharat is Modi ki guarantee. Congress leader Ranadeep Surjewala claims a BJP witch hunt over an alleged video of sexist slur against BJP MP Hema Malini alleges BJP edited the video. Hema Malini responds, says she's unbothered. War for Vainad escalates. Rahul Gandhi's nemesis at Amethi, Smriti Rani, takes a pot shot at the Vainad candidate in Vainad, says, why is the Congress taking support of a Banned terror group in Kerala. Co presented by Aapka Joy, Bharat Ka Joy, Joy E Bike. Co presented by Green Lamb Laminates, Kuch Mera Kuch Tumhara. Powered by MP Birla Cement Perfect Plus, Concrete Special. Co powered by Parul University, Vadodra Gujarat. Co powered by Panasonic AC for Smart Homes. Signature Finest Silver in IG, a premium product from Dilbar. Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan has repeatedly targeted Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for contesting the 2024 Lok Sabha elections from Vainad in Kerala after 2019. Not just because he wants the left candidate and India Alliance partner Annie Raja to win, but because he claims to lead the fight against the BJP, Rahul Gandhi should be contesting in North India, specifically Uttar Pradesh. 
but both the left and the BJP are targeting Rahul Gandhi for not having Muslim League flags at his election rally and for completely different reasons. Shivimol KG is our reporter on ground and has sent her this report. Rahul Gandhi's Vayanad rally has sparked off a major controversy. These are the images from Rahul Gandhi's road shows in Vayanad, one from 2019 and one from 2024. Kerala Chief Minister and India Bloc member Pinarai Vijayan pointed out the missing IUML flag from Rahul Gandhi's rally and lashed out at the Congress. Kadinya Ravana, Vivada Munda Aya Paschatra Tirana, Itta Vana, League Inda Padagiyu, Congress Inda Padagiyu, Oriva Ki, Pravartagar, Rahul Gandhi Ida, Road Show Il Pangaratad. Ida Urdaram Bhiru Tuli, Muslim League Inda Vote Bana. Union Minister and BJP's Amethi candidate Smriti Irani, who defeated Rahul Gandhi in 2019, campaigned for K. Surendran at Vayanad and launched an unsparing attack at the Grand Old Party. She alleged Congress in Kerala was getting support from banned terror outfit PFI. Irani, like Vijayan, insisted that the absence of Muslim League flags at Rahul Gandhi's roadshow indicated he is ashamed of the alliance with IUML or its impact in North India. मेरा ये मानना है कि कल कांग्रेस पार्टी के नामांकन रैली में मुस्लिम लीग के फ्लैग्स को छुपाना इस बात का संकेत है कि या तो राहुल गांधी मुस्लिम लीग के समर्थन से शर्मसार हैं या फिर जब वो उत्तर भारत में आएंगे और मंदिर मंदिर जाएंगे तब लोगों से उत्तर भारत में मुस्लिम लीग के साथ उनके गठबंधन को छुपा पाएंगे the Congress jumped to defend Rahul Gandhi's road show. The party says IUML is one of the oldest allies of the Congress and CPM or BJP don't have any right to take decision on what they carry. What nonsense he is talking. Muslim League is, we are having relation. Uh, we have been, uh, the Muslim League have been in the UDF for the last 40 years. Muslim League is the UDF, major constituent in the UDF. That how he can decide whether we should uh, take flag or not. With battle lines drawn, the stage is set for a riveting electoral contest in the picturesque landscapes of Vayanad. But the acrimony is only set to escalate. With Shibimol KG in Vayanad, your report, India Today. So Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan accuses Rahul Gandhi of cowardice. Being scared to own up friends from the Muslim League despite taking their help in Vayanad is what the BJP says. Accusing Rahul Gandhi of taking help of the political wing of a banned organization like the Popular Front of India. Is there merit in this criticism coming both from the left and for the, from the right? Joining me... On this India First special broadcast is GVL Narsimha Rao. He's a member of parliament, also national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Tehseen Poonawala is a political analyst, gives us the Congress Party perspective. And Maulana Sajid Rashidi is the president of the All India 
Imam Council Joy Association joining us on the show in Tehsin Punawala. I want to begin by asking you, sir, Rahul Gandhi, in the line of friendly fire, Pinrai Vijayan, Kerala Chief Minister, is an opposition India Alliance friend and he's accusing Rahul Gandhi of cowardice, sir. That's a very good question, Gaurav. Thank you so much for having me, Anisha. At the onset, uh, 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 good evening to my fellow panelists and to all your viewers. Two very important points. I and I firmly believe I'm anti-left. I think the left are a liability on this country and uh, ideologically, and we must have nothing to do with the left. So what the what the honourable Chief Minister of Kerala is doing is he's obviously by his utterances putting the UDF down, putting in trying to help make sure Rahul Gandhi wins, uh, loses, thereby helping BJP win. Look. Fact is, this so SDP that's a act. grave allegation that you're living, no, living against clear. an India Alliance partner. Yeah, you're but, saying but, that CPI and CPIM leaders are actually helping the BJP make Rahul Gandhi lose in why not, sir? Please, yes, I absolutely stand by that. Who's fighting against Sri Rahul Gandhi ji, uh, D Raja ji? G's wife, who's an accomplished uh, leader by herself. I'm not saying that she's only his wife. She's an accomplished leader by herself in Kerala. Why does that seat? Why could the uh, why could the left not have not contested that seat? Even if there is, I understand the Kerala politics. There is no BJP, so that the left will want to uh, take all the seats. They should not have contested. D Raja in every meeting with Rahul Gandhi, which is the India Alliance meeting, will stand next to Rahul Gandhi ji. He will come. He's so you cannot at one hand be seen with take the power out of Rahul Gandhi ji, but then have your family members and your party contest against him. That's not right. Secondly, if we are a part of the India Alliance, we want to portray the India Alliance to defeat the BJP or the NDA Alliance. How can you put up a candidate against a prominent face of the India Alliance? This, even in political courtesy, even when Congress SP would fight each other, they wouldn't put candidates against each other in, say, Amethi, rivalry. That's how political courtesies extend. You can't claim to be a part of a mem of an alliance and then do this. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll come to you to respond to that. Jeevel Narsimara has a huge smile on his face. But, but uh, you know, before before I come to Jeevel Narsimara and before uh, I, I come to uh, Sajid Rashidi, I want to ask, that's what the left is asking. That That's where Rahul Gandhi should be in Amethi or Rai Bareli. Why is he in Vainad in the first place? But I'll come to you to respond to that. Maulana Sajid Rashidi, you see that Rahul Gandhi is doing a lot of work on Kerala's Mukhya Mantri. Rahul Gandhi or Congress Party or left to एक साथ इंडिया अलायंस में है दोनों ही इंडिया अलायंस का भाग है लेकिन पिनराई विजयन कह रहे हैं कि राहुल गांधी मुस्लिम लीग की मदद भी मांगते हैं और उनका झंडा तक दिखाने से डर गए हैं क्या डर हो सकता है कि मुस्लिम लीग का झंडा नहीं दिखाना चाहते राहुल गांधी देखिए असल में बीजेपी जो एक ट्रेन में फंसाना चाहती है ना कांग्रेस को कांग्रेस उसमें फंसती जा रही है कांग्रेस मुसलमान को पब्लिक उसमें नहीं लाना चाहती अपने जो है किसी भी जगह रोड शो वगैरह में सामने नहीं लाना चाहती ये बताना नहीं चाहती कि मुसलमान हमारा साथ दे रहा है ये बताना नहीं चाहती कि हम मुसलमान के वोट पर जीतना चाहते हैं ये सारी चीजें जो है पब्लिक नोट कर रही है चीफ मिनिस्टर जो कह रहे हैं वो कोई गलत नहीं कह रहे हैं राहुल गांधी आज भी बचते हैं किसी मुस्लिम लीडर को किसी स्टेज पर लाने के लिए राहुल गांधी आज भी बचते हैं किसी मुस्लिम लीडर को कहीं रोड शो पे लाने के लिए इवन इमरान जो है जो इमरान प्रताप गढ़ी है उनको कहीं रोड शो पे नहीं लाया जा रहा है जब उनको आपने मैनोरिटी का कई लोगों अरे सांसद बनाना अलग चीज है सांसद बनाना अलग चीज है आपने किसी रोड शो में या आपने किसी स्टेज पे रखा है उनको बताइए आप मुझे बीजेपी जो चाह रही है कांग्रेस वही कर रही है ठीक जीवे नरसिम्हा राव दिस इज अफ्ट एंड बीजेपी टूगेदर कॉन्स्पिरसी मौलाना साहब एक मिनट जीवे नरसिम्हा राव द कांग्रेस पार्टी इज सेइंग दैट दिस इज अ कॉन्स्पिरसी वेद द लेफ्ट एंड द बीजेपी हैव कम टुगेदर वाई आर दे सेइंग दिस दे आर सेइंग इन 2019 एंड दिस इज द स्टेट पार्टी प्रेसिडेंट सेइंग दैट इन 2019 द बीजेपी हैड रेज्ड द मुस्लिम लीग फ्लैग इशू एंड इन 2024 पिनराई विजयन इज इज यू नो रेजिंग दिस इशू इट शोस a secret alliance between the left and the bjp vd satheesan state party president saying so sir i think it, there cannot be anything more uh, farcical than what we are seeing in uh, in kerala nothing more uh, farcical and nothing more uh, laughable the so called indi alliance which has been uh, which has been stitched together to fight against the bjp government at the center You look at the manner in which they are attacking each other in Kerala. 
Rahul Gandhi has gone all the way to Wayanad and wants to stay there and not venture out because he wants a protection. He wants the safest seat that he can find. And uh, communists are not. Uh, Tessin wants a walkover for Rahul Gandhi in Wayanad so that uh, baby Rahul doesn't need to even contest or doesn't need to even uh, 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 make an effort to win the election. I this the the, the so-called alliance, the incongruity of this alliance. The internal contradictions of this alliance are more evident than anywhere in Kerala. I think okay. the manner in which Penarai Vijayan is attacking the Congress party, I think it's more of a uh, shadow boxing. It is only to try and uh, polarize votes in each other's favor. This is a fixed match being played by the communists and the Congress and people of Kerala will give both of them a fitting lesson in this in this election because you cannot be friends outside kerala and cannot pretend to be foes in kerala okay tehsin punawala how do you explain no flags of the muslim league at rahul gandhi's nomination rally that namankan uh, road show that he carried out the political buzz is muslim league knows rahul gandhi needs their support to win therefore if Rahul Gandhi was embarrassed about not having IUML flags, as the grapevine puts it, then IUML also said there will be no Congress flags. Is the Muslim League holding Congress to ransom? No, no, no. That's not the case. Um, first of all, Rahul Gandhi led by Anad by over 60% votes. We will take this, record this, and, we, and I'll come back on the issue on the day of the results. But there are two uh, pertinent points. What was decided with Rahul Gandhiji's uh, nomination, and not just Rahul Gandhiji's, what is decided is we'll have uh, the India flag everywhere because of the India alliance. Second, you'll have the respective party flags, only there's, there's no alliance out there. So that was a decision taken. Where you tell me in Uttar Pradesh, uh, where is where uh, where the alliances go? Where Congress SP flags have gone together for nomination? You haven't. So SP takes its flags, Congress takes its. There's, in a joint rally, there isn't. There is India flag because they have to show. So in no joint rallies uh, across the country will we see flags of uh, different India alliance parties. Is that what you're saying? As, as of uh, for the nomination, this is for the nomination. While the nomination, because you don't want to confuse the voter, you just keep the India flag. Because the India Alliance doesn't have a symbol. So this was only for a nomination. What you're talking about is the nomination process, number one. Number two, look, the BJP in Kerala is going to get as many seats as the most honorable prime minister's press conference is zero. So I agree that the Congress or the left should not concede space. But I also think there should be no uh, tie-up with the left anywhere in the country. Now let's talk about the third thing, Maulana Sab came. I have a fundamental problem with all of these uh, respected Maulanas. I have a lot of respect coming on television and speaking for the Muslim community. Please, the Muslim community does not need representatives. The Muslim community needs representatives like Abdul Kalam, like Maulana Azad. They don't need these uh, these representatives who come and tell what the Muslim community need to do and take the Muslim community into backwardness. Okay, Maulana Rashidi wants to respond to you. I just have to take 30 seconds. I'll just take 30 seconds. If you if you if you get this these these debates polarized debates, they help the BJP win. Every issue that Maulana Sab or other Maulanas who come in are polarizing if debates that divide our country. So you are saying the Maulana Maulana Rashidi is helping the BJP is what you are saying. Tehsin, why are you so scared? 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 बोलने दो देखिये पिछले सात एक सेकंड सिर्फ एक ही सेकंड मौलाना साहब ये गलत फहमी अपने जहन से निकाल दो मैं आपसे डरता हूँ मैं आपकी इज्जत करता हूँ प्लीज रिस्पॉन्ड मौलाना जी रिस्पॉन्ड सुनिए पिछले साठ पैंसठ सालों से कांग्रेस ने जनसंघ जनसंघ भाजपा आ जाएगी भाजपा आ जाएगी इससे डराते रहे मुसलमानों को कि मुसलमान कहीं नहीं जाएगा आज भी मुसलमान को कांग्रेस पार्टी यही समझती है कि बीजेपी तो लेगी नहीं उसके वोट मुसलमानों को सामने नहीं लाते बीजेपी साफ कहती है कि हमें वोट नहीं चाहिए इसलिए मजबूर होकर कांग्रेस में मुसलमान का वोट आएगा ये सोच बिल्कुल कांग्रेस की गलत है आज के वक्त में आज मुसलमान के पास विकल्प बहुत है बहुत सारे विकल्प है जो रीजनल पार्टीज हैं वो सारे विकल्प हैं मुसलमानों के पास में अगर कांग्रेस पार्टी ये सोचती है कि आज भी मुसलमान हाथ जोड़कर तुम्हारे पास आएगा और तुम उसको जलील करते रहोगे तुम उसको कहीं जगह नहीं दोगे कहीं उसको स्थान नहीं दोगे तो ये बहुत बड़ी गलत फहमी है कांग्रेस की नहीं तो आप ये कह रहे हैं राहुल गांधी की रैली में अगर मुस्लिम लीग का झंडा नहीं था यह मुसलमानों को जलील करने के मकसद से था बिल्कुल मुसलमानों को जलील करने वाली बात है ये मैं दावे के साथ कह सकता हूँ अगर राहुल गांधी ने 
इस इलेक्शन में मुसलमानों को स्थान नहीं दिया तो मुसलमान कांग्रेस को वोट नहीं देगा ये समझ लीजिए बात और मैं मुसलमानों से अपील भी करना चाहता हूँ कि जब तक कांग्रेस इस बात को तय अपील 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 आप अपने प्लेटफॉर्म पर की जगह सर इंडिया टुडे के प्लेटफॉर्म पर नहीं लेकिन जीवीएल नरसिम्हा राव सॉरी गौरव आई मेड माय पॉइंट या मैं बिल्कुल कह रहा हूं कि कांग्रेस को सबक सुनाने की जरूरत है सो माय माय पॉइंट ओनली ऑन द इशू दैट वी आर डिबेटिंग टुडे जीवीएल नरसिम्हा राव द इशू शुड बी राहुल गांधी इज वर्क एज एन एमपी और और व्हाट योर कैंडिडेट और द बीजेपी कैंडिडेट यू नो हैज टू ऑफर मिस्टर सुरेंद्रन Why is Rahul Gandhi being taunted? Uh, one, whether the Muslim League flag is shown or not shown, or the left taunting him about uh, you know running away from Amethi and coming to Vinod and fighting with a friend. No, Gaurav, I think uh, in 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 a political uh, 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 discourse, all these issues will get highlighted. He is in an electoral alliance with IUML. IUML is the constituent of UDF not now for a long long time for Absolutely. decades and they have been in government together it's not just in a political alliance they have I am IUML was a constituent of the UDF governments in Kerala so how is he why is he hiding the identity of their electoral alliance partner and the and the non and the hidden partner the SDPI which has which has lent its complete support this time they have contested elections in the past they have polled substantial votes in different constituencies in the past today they came out openly in support of the congress party and the why is he even silent about this so this is he wants to have electoral he wants to indulge in vote bank politics but does not want uh, uh, it to get exposed it's a it's a, it's a hidden game that the congress party is playing okay. and it's our right to highlight and expose congress party and rahul gandhi for indulging in hidden electoral vote bank politics okay tehsin punawala have the last 30 seconds on this part of the show but is there merit in that criticism that pinrai vijayan says If you really want to take on the BJP, then Rahul Gandhi should actually be fighting in North India. The Gandhi should be fighting either in Amethi or Raibareli in Uttar Pradesh, and not uh, fighting from a safe seat in Vinod in Kerala. The day Mr. Gandhi takes advice from the left, I think the party will be over. I want to make another very substantive point. I'm very grateful that the Honorable MP brought up SDPI. Let me draw your viewers' attention to 29 September 2022 India Today report. The Election Commission tells that the Ministry of Home Affairs and Gaurav, you cover this very closely. The Ministry of Home Affairs has given zero evidence against SDPI. Now, the Honourable Home Minister of the country, instead of campaigning, can focus and actually give evidence so that the SDPI can be banned because the leader of opposition of the Congress in in Kerala has said we don't want support of the SDPI. So, okay. is the SDPI also working for you? Please kindly answer that question, Honourable MP. Fair enough. Yes, Jeevan Narsimha, about ten seconds if you want to answer, because I want to come back to the point I raised. The, 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 which the PFI just ducked see, on fighting the same thing they said about, about PFI, and PFI is now a banned organization. SDPI is, is as a political arm has survived by because of certain uh, lacunae, but certainly there is nothing hidden about SDPI's association with PFI, and um, and, and I I am not aware of political parties being banned. on their association with any organization but if such a we'll track that we'll track that there's breaking news coming in there's breaking news coming in and breaking news coming in from Arunachal Pradesh where union minister Kiran Rijiju has hit out at congress leader Rahul Gandhi there's breaking news that's just coming in that's coming in uh, the union minister has taken to social media platform x to say dear Rahul Gandhi ji Why have you allowed such things in election? Your Congress party is blatantly misusing a pure Christian forum in Arunachal Pradesh so brazenly against the BJP. PM Narendra Modi ji has done so much for Northeast, and you are using Christians against him. Is the point that's being made by Kiran Rijiju after a letter? has been written by uh, an organization uh, seeking votes in favor of particular candidates we'll track that story closely i've run out of time on this part of india first a quick break election unlocked with rajdeep sardesai on the other side of a quick break stay with us
इंटेलिजेंस मीट्स आर्ट मोटरोला एच फिफ्टी प्रो हेलो मोटो एन अनपैरेलल इलेक्शन कवरेज विद द टीम दैट विंस एवरी इलेक्शन फ्रॉम अनमैच्ड ऑन ग्राउंड रिपोर्टिंग टू रियल टाइम पोल अपडेट्स स्टेट ट्यून टू द मैक्सिमम चैनल फॉर द मैक्सिमम कवरेज Platinum partner signature finest silver elaichi a premium product from Dilbag That's another now BJP and the Congress war die battle elections the heartbeat of the world's largest democracy covered by the political journalist with nearly 4 decades of experience the man who understands the pulse of the nation join india's ultimate newsman i will decode the complex political chess game that's at the heart of indian democracy elections unlocked with rajdeep sardesai maximum analysis on the maximum channel papu ji ye bataiye क्या किसी इस पार्टी के सिंबल पे भरा है या कैसे चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये लाखों लोगों के सिंबल पे भरे हैं पूर्णिया के तेईस लाख लोगों के आशीर्वाद से भरे हैं और आदरणीय नेता राहुल गांधी जी और प्रियंका गांधी के आशीर्वाद से भरे हैं मेरा संकल्प है कांग्रेस को नंबर वन करना कांग्रेस का विश्वास मेरे साथ है सीमांचल कोसी को दुनिया में नंबर वन करना मेरा संकल्प है जातीय उन्माद और नफरत को मिटाना और भ्रष्टाचार को चार जिन के बाद खत्म कर देना मेरा संकल्प तो किसी पार्टी से भरा है या निर्दलीय चुनाव लड़ेगा? सर मैंने कहा ना जनता ने मेरे मेरी पार्टी तो पहले भी लेकर कर ली और उसके बाद जिस तरीके से एक नफरत देखा गया मेरे खिलाफ जबकि मैं कंप्लीट रूप से लालू जी को पिता मानता हूँ और एक नॉमिनेशन में जिस तरीके से आके नफरत दिखाए गए राजनीति में कोई दुश्मनी नहीं और नफरत नहीं होती है मैं ये क्यों फाइल किया है पर्चा सर मैंने पहले ही कहा तो मेरी पार्टी भी तो खत्म हो गई और मेरा चुनाव चिन्ह भी खत्म हो गया और अपनों ने इतना कोशिश किए रोकने के चौदह दिनों में मैं इतना 